Hey guys, Alexander here, back with the final video in the chi squared uh, portion of the probability theory series. So, in this video, we will be deriving the moment generating function of the chi squared distribution, and we will be making use of the relationship between the chi squared distribution and the gamma distribution. So, let's remind ourselves. What is the PDF of a chi-square distribution? PDF for a chi-square with k degrees of freedom. This is given by x to the power k over 2 minus 1 e to the negative x over 2 all of this divided by 2 to the power k over 2 multiplied by gamma of k over 2. And this is valid to the support of x being larger than zero. What about a gamma distribution? Gamma distributed random variable with a shape parameter alpha and lambda. Well, this is going to be lambda e to the negative lambda x multiplied by lambda x to the power of alpha minus one. All of this divided by alpha minus one factorial. Now, let's recall that Alpha minus one factorial is the same as the gamma of alpha. And let's factor out this lambda and multiply it with that one. So we realize that we have lambda to the power of alpha e to the negative lambda times x multiplied by x to the power of alpha minus one. All of this divided by gamma of alpha. So you might be asking, why did I rewrite the gamma distributions PDF into this form? Well, this form bears a very close resemblance to this one. And it is in fact also valid for x being larger than zero. If you look carefully, we see that this gamma of alpha is the same as this k over two over here. We also see that the exponent of x is k over two, minus one, whilst over here it is x to the power of alpha minus one. So what we can conclude is that for a gamma, that is a chi-square distribution with k degrees of freedom, it's the same as a gamma with the shape parameter of k over two. If we substitute alpha to be equal to k over two, we will get this answer over here. We will get back to the um, to a chi-squared distribution with k degrees of freedom. But we also need to know what will the lambda be. And if we look at it carefully, we see that lambda has to be to the power of alpha. Where do we see something to the power of just alpha? We see it over here. Two to the power of k over two. But this is but this is in the denominator, not in the numerator. Well. What this is, in fact, it's two to the power of negative k over two, or essentially it is a half to the power of k over two. This is our, this implies that we have lambda to the power of alpha. We know alpha is k over two, then that means lambda has to be a half. Excellent, so now we have seen the equivalence of of the gamma distribution and the chi-square distribution. And in fact, that they are both related to the exponential distribution and they are part of the exponential family. So we can see if we make the shape parameter for a gamma equal to k over two and the rate parameter equal to a half, we will arrive at the PDF of a chi-squared random variable with k degrees of freedom. And we will use this fact to derive the moment generating function for the chi-squared distribution by, and we are going to carry this out by simply using the definition of the moment generating function. So we know that the definition of the moment generating function is the expected value of e to the tx, which is equal to the integral from zero to infinity of e to the tx, x to the power of k over two minus one, multiplied by e to the negative x over 2, all of this divided by 2 to the power k over 2 multiplied by gamma of k over 2. And don't forget your dx. 
So let's go multiply the exponential functions out with each other and we arrive at x to the power k over 2 minus 1 and e to the negative a half minus t x. And our denominator still stays the same up to the power k over 2 and the gamma of k over 2. So what do we see? We see that our right parameter lambda is a half minus t. Well, how can we rewrite this in, in another form that looks a bit nicer? We need to rewrite this as a single fraction. So we know it's going to be 1 minus 2t over 2. So this is our new lambda, our lambda new. This is the lambda that we want to use to transform this integral into uh, the PDF of another gamma distribution multiplied by some constant with respect to x. So if this is the lambda that we are looking for, then there and our alpha is still equal to k over 2, then we're looking for the PDF of a gamma distributed random variable with k over 2 being the shape parameter and the right parameter being 1 minus 2t over 2. Okay. And we, we know what this looks like. We know that this is simply going to be 1 minus 2t over 2, which is our lambda to the power of alpha, e to the negative 1 minus 2t over 2x, multiplied by x to the power of alpha minus 1, divided by alpha minus 1 factorial, which is equivalent to the gamma of alpha. Okay? So, what do we have? We already have the gamma sorted since the alpha is equal to k over 2. We have this, we have the gamma sorted over here. We have the denominator of this lambda sorted, but we need the numerator part, which is the 1 minus 2t. So this is good. The x to the power of k over 2 minus 1 is good. The e, uh, exponential function to the power of negative uh, lambda x is fine. So all we need to do is we need to go take our, our integrals, which is the expected value of e to the t x. And we know that it is already of the form gamma of, of uh, uh, gamma of k over 2, e to the negative 1 minus 2t over 2x, x to the power of k over 2 minus 1. And we just need to make an adjustment for the 1 minus 2t which is the numerator part of our lambda because lambda is equal to 1 minus 2t over 2. So if we multiply over here by a 1 minus 2t to the power alpha because it has to be lambda to the power alpha as we derived over here it has to be lambda over alpha so if we multiply by 1 minus 2t to the power of k over, uh, k over 2, then, well, we're going to have to divide by that on this side. So we have 1 over 1 minus 2t to the power of k over 2. Remember, our integral is dx. And if we write this nicely, so we can see clearly, 0 to infinity, of 1 minus 2t to the power k over 2, x to the power of k over 2 minus 1, times e to the negative 1 minus 2t over 2x, all of this divided by 2 to the power k over 2, and gamma of k over 2 dx. Then we know that this is simply the PDF of a gamma distributed random variable with a shape parameter of k over 2 and the right parameter of 1 minus 2t over 2. And since we're integrating over the entire support of this probability density function, we know that this integral evaluates to 1. But 
just so it is a hundred percent clear notice this left part and i will um, annotate it with a different color if we note if we examine this this is what lambda is it's lambda to the power of alpha lambda is 1 minus 2t over 2 and alpha is k over 2 this over here is alpha here is lambda in the brackets here is alpha again and that's it that's how easy it is to see the link between the gamma distribution and the chi square distribution and how we can manipulate our knowledge of this fact to you to use it to calculate the moment generating function of the chi squared distribution so then we know in the end we know that the expected value of e to the tx which is equal to the moment generating function of the distribution is equal of the chi square distribution is 1 over 1 minus 2t to the power of k over 2. So this is our moment generating function for the chi square distribution and we note, also note that it's valid for t less than r. So that's how we go about proving the uh, moment generating function for the chi squared distribution. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope I've made your studies of statistics easier and more enjoyable. Boa Commander out.